Hi guys, you are watching Etc. with me, S. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, all that good ish. Now, today we are going to be talking about Real Housewives of Potomac Season 5, The Reunion Part 3. Now, I didn't review Part 2 because you know, it was a bit of a smooth place. And um, Part 1 was really good, so I wanted to kind of just finish it on a bang. So, Lego. The reunion starts from where it left off last week. Where Andy, I don't even know, Andy's been really biased this, um, actually I'm not saying biased, it just, it comes off that he doesn't like Monique or whatever Monique is saying there's a rebuttal. We saw a little bit of it in last episode, but this episode was so prevalent, like, it was a bit uncomfortable to watch, it's like, okay, okay, Candice went off crying. I personally think she just went off crying to fix her makeup, like, I just <laughs> because <laughs> they couldn't have makeup during the break because I just I don't see why she's still crying it's not like Monique is threatening her right now it's not like she's also not shouting back they're not going back and forth if anything Monique is, is not even raising her voice and she's just crying with that folded tissue of hers I'm just I'm so over it and then we've got her white husband pacifying her oh <laughs> let me know you even start let me not start okay moving on now Monique did something that I didn't think she was gonna do I didn't even think she should have done I think just I don't know she apologized to Candace and Candace being Candace didn't want to accept it you know she was kind of like okay but it's been over a year why didn't you respond over it you know just so you don't want to accept her apology you want to continue being angry and bitter Monique actually said, you know what, it wasn't about you, you putting your hand in my face was a trigger, it took me back to childhood. I, I me personally, I wasn't buying all that shit, I think Monique, Candice was trying you, you already had an issue with her, she was putting her, your, her hand in your face, no one likes people putting hands in their face, it's not about childhood trauma, or someone was bullying you and they just put a hand in face, no, no, it's disrespectful, you don't point, you don't put your hand in people's faces, especially during an argument. You, that was a trigger for you because it, it is a, a trigger for everyone. If anything, maybe if Monique did this apology at the beginning of the reunion, like before Andy even started, you like, she said, you know what, Candice, I'm going to address you. I'm sorry for my part in it. I shouldn't have put my hands on you because she shouldn't have. And I'm sorry and I hope you heal from, because obviously you're still dealing with it. That maybe would have put, taken Candice, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just feel like, Maybe whatever Monique said, Candice wasn't even going to accept because she just wants to be uh, an angry white woman. Now, this is where I just thought, if you're going to, if you are if you want to, like, be right, Andy, or, you know, do for justice, be a moderator for justice, which, I mean, you weren't even moderating, to be honest, you were. You are giving your two pence. What Candice said to Karen via text was disgusting. I understand that Candace was angry or upset, whatever, you know, she, she loves being that. But if my friend, you know, wasn't happy with something I did, but then texted me to burn in hell, the next time I see you, <laughs> okay, this is why, um, Candace, you get smacked, okay? This is why your mum smacked you in the face, I'm sure. Before I was thinking maybe your mum was, you know, she's a bit extra, but you're probably being smart with her as well, and she whacked you across the face with her back because you don't say these things to people. Like, words have power. And Andy didn't say anything! Andy didn't say one fucking thing! So the husbands come out, and it's always good when the husbands come out, um, or the boyfriends or whatever come out. Now, Juan isn't there, Michael isn't there, Jamal isn't there. Now, apparently Jamal isn't there because he's lecturing. But just from Monique, not from Monique, just from Giselle's face, I can just tell that was some bullshit. I just think that's a pack of lies. He just didn't want to come. He's already said in a video that he didn't want to associate himself with the show anymore. He's never going to appear on the show. So I didn't catch where Juan, why Juan wasn't there. I don't know if he was working or not. Michael wasn't there either, because apparently he's at a wedding. I just think, Michael, you just didn't want to just be there for them coming for you, because you acted a fool <laughs> in the last episode. I mean, I do think it's funny that Juan and Michael are not at the reunion at the same time. I don't know, maybe they're on holiday together, you never know. What I don't understand 
is why does Giselle have security? I, I, I watched the live that they're referring to when um, Chris Samuels is basically kind of coming for the women, basically saying, if I was a woman, I would have beat you guys up. Cool. But what immediate harm do you have in a reunion setting where there's probably security already there? Do you really think Chris is going to get up and slap you at a reunion that is being filmed that's going to be televised all around the world? Come on, Giselle. Such a scary ass trick i can't oh i can't stand yourself if anyone needed security wouldn't have wouldn't it have been um candace because money is such a threat anyway chris actually apologized for, for you know threatening the women you, i mean he said he wasn't just saying it to giselle he was saying it to robin he was probably referring to candace referring to giselle and uh, like you weren't the only one that he was attacking but anyway he did apologize to giselle I don't even think he needed to apologise because at the end of the day, chat shit get banged. Let me put my two pence in about all this plot, okay? It wasn't on the show. I mean, in terms of it wasn't like a storyline that I guess they've talked about and they were planning to film for, but it came up because it's something that had been discuss discussed off camera some time ago and a former friend of the Samuels was trying to, you know, shock this information around and all that stuff, I think her name is Gigi, whatever. I understand where um, um, the Samuels are coming from, where Monique and Chris are coming from. It might not have come, it might not have come from them, it probably came from Gigi or something, but you were talking about Monique's, the paternity of Monique's last baby and saying that Chris might not be the father because there's rumours about this trainer. That is, anyone that's the parent, if someone's talking about the, you know, the paternity of your child, even in a joking way, I'm sorry, I don't appreciate that. I would be upset as well. You're messy. Giselle, you're messy. And I just feel like you are, what, 50 years old? And you're this messy? This is, this is why... You can't, every reunion is just different men, different men. Because you're not a nice person. Now, we need to talk about Wendy very quickly because, honestly, this last part, she wasn't really there. Um, Something's not all right. I said this in a previous review, but there needs to, what, what's the reason that your husband's family don't fuck with you? Maybe if we were back in Nigeria, you know, I would understand if it was this caste thing that you're talking about. I'm not Ibo, so I don't know if that is still a prevalent thing in the Ibo community, but you and your husband were raised in America. And I just feel like, I feel like being first generation born in, you know, outside of Africa, those, those rigid caste, you know, maybe they do kind of play a part, but it's not as strong. Like you raise your children in a different environment entirely. I feel like Wendy has done something for a info mum to to basically disown her son and his ch and his children. That like maybe he don't fucks with you, but he's still gonna fucks. You know, they're still gonna fucks with the son. They're still gonna fucks with the grandchildren. They're not even doing that. Just I'm just saying something's not right. And being Nigerian and being first generation, or kind of second generation. And basically, being brought up in this country, even though it's not America, it's a similar kind of experience, okay, in, in a way. I just don't, I'm not buying it. And Wendy, I mean, I heard that Wendy maybe didn't get her contract for next season. If you do come back, you need to explore that because this degree-ish, we don't need to hear about, be hearing about it every day, okay? Michael's not there to defend himself. But I will say this, Michael has been at every other reunion and I feel like, Maybe the second reunion was even like, a lot of stuff happened and he was there. So maybe he just couldn't make it. I don't know. But actually, how, how many times are you going to defend this man? Like, for real? This is, I'm, I'm just assuming that there's a game plan. I mean, this is your second baby with this man. You've probably done like some sort of post now, even though you said you didn't, but maybe there's an agreement if, you know, or maybe they're just, you know, open marriage or something like that. You, you do your own thing, he does his own thing, it just make sure it doesn't get out. 
I don't, I don't know. I just feel like this embarrassment that Mike was putting you through. How how many how many times how many seasons are you going to sit there and defend your husband for for grabbing people's bums? I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Robert, I'm confused because what's Juan Dixon gonna do? Really? I mean, Chris is what like times two of one. What's he gonna do? Go by. I'm sorry. Robin, you can also take your exit papers because besides licking Giselle's pussy every season, I really don't know your purpose in this whole show. It was a bit cringe when um Chris and Monique had this little moment when they kind of broke down and then he, Chris was admiring her strength and they hugged and stuff. This is just a bit weird. It's a bit too much for me. <laughs> and, I mean, that's kind of basically it. Karen had this little moment at the end when she wanted everyone to come together. But anyway, guys, that was my review. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, all that shit-ish, as I said. And I will see you for the next review. Bye.